Meg shocked as Samantha fatal bombshell confirms Archie birth she used surrogate after miscarriage. These days, Samantha is suing Meghan, alleging that the Duchess of Sussex launched a premeditated campaign to destroy her and her father's reputation. It's part of Samantha's desperate, last-ditch effort to remain relevant, and it comes on the heels of news that could have her banned from Twitter for good. As we previously reported, a revealing study from analytics firm Bot Sentinel confirmed last year that Meghan has been the target of a coordinated harassment campaign on Twitter. The firm analyzed examining over 114,000 tweets and concluded that 70% of the anti meghan invective originated from just 83 accounts. Now, BuzzFeed News has released the results of an investigation which determined that the bullying campaign was spearheaded by Samantha. According to the outlet, the 57-year-old used numerous accounts to propagate and give credibility to damaging and potentially defamatory claims about her half-sister. The BuzzFeed investigation turned up dozens of bonkers tweets from Samantha, in which she alleges, among other things, that Meghan miscarried during her first pregnancy and then opted to secretly use a surrogate to carry baby Archie. She also claims that the surrogate was then reluctant to hand the kid over, forcing Meghan to carry a doll during public engagements in order to keep up appearances. I believe the surrogate has not yet handed over the baby, Samantha allegedly tweeted in June of last year. I think it should be mandatory that proof of delivery from my sister's womb be provided if any of the children are to have a title and Archie should not have a title because I believe a surrogate was involved, she continued adding. I believe she picked up her eggs in Los Angeles. Sam really latched on to that last claim, repeating it in several subsequent tweets. I don't believe it's a theory because several times we also photos, sick, of her stomach big in the morning and flat at the end of the day and I was informed and I was informed that she was picking up her eggs in Los Angeles before Archie, she wrote. Sam also claimed that this matter is super important as it should prevent Meghan and Harry's children from receiving royal titles, even though their parents have already made it clear that they don't want the kids to have titles. There is no DNA proof that he is Harry's son and furthermore there is no proof that Archie or Lily were delivered from the womb which is a requirement for titles under British law, Samantha blathered on. Samantha also alleged that Meghan was in cahoots with Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein, because if you're gonna spew nonsensical conspiracy theories, why not really go bonkers with them? Samantha's account has been suspended once again, and her lawyer, Douglas Kale, claims that his client was hacked by someone coincidentally also hates Meghan and loves wild conspiracy theories. Kale is also representing Sam in her lawsuit against Meghan, in which he alleges that the Duchess is lying when she says that she and her half-sister, who is 17 years her senior, were not especially close when they were younger. This is false. Samantha spent time with defendant on a regular basis throughout her childhood and even lived in the same apartment house with defendant for a period of time, Kale claimed in legal documents. Samantha picked up Megan from school, took Megan for ice cream and to the mall regularly, and spent many family holidays with the defendant, he continued. This is an attempt by Megan to create the false impression that Megan was essentially an only child with no contact with other family members, or as Megan stated on Oprah, that she had no siblings. Samantha is seeking $75,000 in damages, alleging that she has suffered actual damages in the form of lost employment, lost income from sales of her autobiography, emotional and mental distress, including anxiety and fear due to the threatening and violent emails and messages she receives regularly, and harm to her reputation and credibility. Recently, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle sparked a protest with their presence at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's stepped out at the UN General Assembly on Monday where the Queen's grandson delivered a keynote speech to mark Nelson Mandela International Day. However, a protester with a sign asking why the pair were there stood outside the building. The woman's placard read, Mandela spent 27 years behind bars in SA. Markle spent 18 months in castles and complained on TV during a pandemic. Why are they here? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle also ignored a US reporter's question about biographer Tom Bauer's new royal book which makes a series of bombshell claims.